reason I have my hood up today? No! <laughs> okay, so I got convinced to crimp my hair. Not really the best of ideas. Seeing as my crimper isn't really the best of crimpers, so didn't really go too well. It seems like I, I actually played with this side load, so it's just gone poof, and then this side actually does look somewhat crimped. But today I went to Staples, and I'm actually looking because I want to get a laptop. Um, seems like the thing that all YouTubers do, so I thought, hey, why not? Generally wanted to have a laptop for, like, forever, but it hasn't really been that much of a success. This is a laptop that I actually own at the moment. This is a Toshiba T213 OCS. Oh, yeah, definitely. It runs Windows 97. It's not like I'm like after the, all the fancy gadgets and all that sort of stuff. It's just I really, I've, I've always wanted a laptop. I seriously have always wanted a laptop. And now my mum's got one. I've, I've been like begging her for ages. I really do want a laptop. So it's just, it's just really annoying. I actually took pictures on my phone of the three ones that I, I actually want that's set up at Staples that I was messing around with. I, I think they all look really cool anyway. Then, something caught my eye. Something that looks like the 3D version of this. The easy button. What the? Why? 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 Why do these people need to pay over two pound for a really cocky, bloody voice to turn around and go, that was easy? Why? Why would you do that? I mean, if you really wanted to hear somebody say, that was easy, why didn't you record yourself saying it and play it when you want to? Just because people want to spend two pound on a piece of round plastic, that when you press it, it says that, why, why, why would you want to actually do that? What a waste of plastic in the world. I'm not like, I, I'm not upset, I'm just really, I just don't get it. I really don't get it. I'm, I'm confused. I, I really don't understand why. Why? Why? But, if you, if, if you have a Staples easy button, please, please let me know. Because I'm actually interested to see who actually buys these. <laughs> Okay, so just went to the hair shower, hence the non-crimped hair anymore. Okay, something else I want to talk about. I sort of have started playing on something which I don't think I really should be, but I seem to keep doing it, like, more and more often now. Sounds a bit dodgy. Neopets. Yeah, neopets.com. It's very childish. Very, very, but... My God, there is a, there's a game on there, and it's called Meep It Juice Break. I actually kick ass at it. I am, like, amazing. And what you do is if you can get over, like, a 1,000, what you do is you send your score, and then you get an actual 1,000 Neo points. And I'm like, I want to, like, save up more money on there. I don't know what for. I'm not going to, like, buy anything. I just want to actually just be able to say, yeah, check out my Neo points. I don't know why. I just, I just, see, I can't even say it will make me feel big, because I don't, I don't even think I'll do that, really. It's, you know, it's Neo pets, but still. I honestly can't believe how long it's taken me to make this video. I started it when I got back from college at 3 and it's now uh, midnight. A while back when I started college in September there was a freshers fair for the year 2s and while they were there um, me and my mate Lucy went inside and this woman asked us if we were performing art students. We said yes and um, she asked if we could be in this EMA DVD which is just a DVD that's sent out to the government to the schools to show like these students what's e what EMA is really about um, we both said yes but because Lucy got in there first and like got her name and details down they said that they'd probably use her and I was sort of like okay then they said but put your name down anyway so I was like alright okay then so I put my name down and then they interviewed her and they came to college and interviewed me as well and they were there saying that she was going to be on the DVD but what I'd be on is when you go on the EMA government website um, that I'd be in one of the little videos that are scattered all over the place in there, which generally I thought was a bit better because, you know, a DVD is going to be, it's like, I don't know really, I just generally thought it would be better. Um, then, easier to access, I guess. So. Um, <coughs> I 
Then they came the other day to do the actual interview with all the massive film crew as well and it was just really hilarious because they had to do three different shots which was like really far away, close up and then like extra close up sort of thing and it was a fact that when we were like it was the exact same questions, it was 12 questions sort of thing and it was always the exact same questions so I learned exactly what to say for all of them. When they did the extra close up I just completely messed up. They'd be saying stuff like do you think EMA is good? And I'll be saying stuff, yeah, I think it makes people feel really individual than asking their mum for a fiver every week. By the time we got to the third shot, I'd said this line about 15 times. So when it got to the final close-up, it was sort of like, do you think EMA's good? Yeah, I think May's good individuality fiver, mum. It left me kind of screwed, really. They said they thought it was an absolute laugh, so... Guess I entertained them for a little bit, and then we went and watched Wally, -E, which was a bit random. But yeah, well, considering that it's now midnight, I think I'm gonna go and get some sleep. I got musical theatre tomorrow, and it's like all jumpy and out of the way and stuff because we're rehearsing for a Christmas Carol. Um. So yeah, ciao.